I don't know, but I noticed that I noticed that most girls who have baby dolls when they're younger, the ones who play with a lot of baby dolls, they wind up with a lot of children. Those who play with a lot of Barbie dolls, they wind up like more like a Cali- California brain dead person. Um, and the ones, or or they don't have that many dogs. And I know that only through my family. Because, like, Kieta, I swear that girl could not have enough damn baby dogs. Kieta has so many baby dogs. And Kieta would take her baby dogs everywhere she goes. She'd take her ba- they all slept with her. And they all had their clothes changed. Only thing about her baby dogs, their hair wasn't all that great. Because she was young. <laughs> But she had a whole lot of, she had a stroller. We had a long-ass hallway, a big-ass apartment. Man, her, her and uh, Kiana, they used to skate in the house. When we lived in Houston in the project, jump rope in the house. Jump rope in the house. Hell, yeah, because our house was big enough. We I have, had that thing and the window was right there and I got on the roof. Talking about when we was around sucking them? Yeah. I don't know. No, we didn't even have Jason Bars when we lived in the project. It's a trick that when you're younger you don't know that that's a project. You know, that's just life. But what, getting back to the baby thing, but look at it. But she was in the one number of books, but now she won't tell anybody. Oh, you bought Kiki all the baby dolls, and Kiana had all the Barbie dolls. Well, you wanted all the books. This girl had so many damn books. When I put her on restrictions, you had to take her books to put her on restrictions. And so look how many children she has, and look how many children Kiela has. And then look at Kiwi and Kiela, and then look at Kiana. Kiana is a Barbie dog type. And so is my daughter. Yeah, yes. But her daughter may have a bunch of Barbies, but her daughter also was just like Kiki. She had so many babies. Kiana would have three babies in a stroller, and she would have her little uh, diaper bag and her purse. And she'll have bags on her stroller. Well, Kiki did the same thing. It just didn't have all that modern stuff that they had by the time Shayana was born. Oh, she was but Shayana's going to have a lot of children, too. She looks like she got all the and her pictures. That's because she wore all that damn makeup. Well, she don't wear makeup. Okay, eyeliner, lip liner, whatever. Cool. But she is so, but to me, she's so pretty. Yeah, she do. She really looks emo. She looks like one of those crazy women. Crazy crazy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, Booby used to collect them things. She has so many. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to get my baby. I'm going to be But see, the whole thing with me, with her, is that when me and her talk, we had a verbal agreement. How about she lied to me and told me that she had job pictures all on the walls there, and when I got there, the only picture was in her room was a picture of Nana in a picture frame sitting up on the bed, a shelf, a dresser or something. There were no pictures on her wall of you guys. When I began to show her pictures, the only person she knew was Micaiah. And it was so awesome because Micaiah's head was like turned sideways. It was a picture of me, you know, I had braided his hair. You know what I'm saying? So that's really what it was a picture for. Uh, that's the only one she knew. She remembered Micaiah. She even said his name. She did not know who you were. And Booby told me. See, so that's what I'm saying. I don't know. That's some hard ass shit. 
And this is my niece. I mean, this is somebody who was born when I was 11, and my dumb ass went around and told everybody it was my baby. Not knowing, see, that's how innocent we were back then, too. Not knowing I was being ashamed of my man and them. I mean, not like my sister Sharon didn't bring enough shame in having her, what, 14? But me, 11, and she looked just like me, too. And for a long time, she called me her mama. And I keep having to tell her I'm her auntie. She didn't care. You know but then she told her. How? How? No, Sharon was there. I used to live with Nana too when when Boobie was born, and I lived down the street from Nana. Well, Sherry got married, got ready to move away, and me and Nana didn't want her to take Booby. We did not want her to take Booby. And so Booby stayed there at Nana's house. Yeah. yeah. No, you know what? Yeah, that's saying that because, you know what that reminds me of? Let me tell you, when you said that, you know who I heard? This pink chick, that one that came and took you. And she tried to blame Nana and Jenkins for me having all the children I had. And that was a lie. I had the children I had. That had something to do with me. That had nothing to do with my parents whatsoever. If Booby would have wanted to go with Sharon, Booby could have went with Sharon because Sharon just went to the south side. Because Nana, Nana wanted her all her life. So why would she try to say it in a different way? In a different light. That wasn't it. Booby could have went with her mom. That's what I'm telling you. Uh-huh. Booby had a choice, and Booby knew she had a choice. Like when she got married, Sharon got married. Booby went to Sharon house sometimes, but Booby stayed there sometimes because Booby was going to school. But Booby wanted to stay with Nana, and Nana wanted Booby to stay there. Okay, Nana, you hear what you're saying? Now, that's a child. Somebody wants you to stay there. You really can't talk to themselves. So you might want to go to your mom. We have this conversation right here. No, no, no. It was Booby's decision before anybody else's. When Sharon got ready, when Sharon was getting ready to get married. What the? But the whole thing in the nutshell, I ain't going to go through the whole scenario. The whole thing in the nutshell is what I know. And what I know is when I got there, there were no pictures on the wall. And what I know when I got there, your baby didn't know anybody but Micaiah. But Booby told me that she had the pictures on the wall, that she talked to, to her about you guys, and she didn't. That's the part I know. Now, why Booby did it, and I, I really don't know. Well, I probably do, but I ain't going to get into that right now. But the whole thing in a nutshell, not, over, not only that, not only that, no, not only that, she said me and her had an agreement that she would give her, the baby, she would give your name back to you when you got on your, your feet. Because I told Booby, I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it. And you did it. And then she didn't give it back. I'm like, but see, that's what I'm saying. It's like people don't have compassion no more. It's like people don't have no more. It's like they just don't care. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like 
like that girl from my phone? Whoever. Somehow my phone came up broke. Like that. Yeah, I know you do. Okay, you know how you be talking, you say like, in my opinion. But I'm saying in my opinion. Not really with my knowing, my knowledge. Well, you know what? I've, I've been sitting here and I haven't been saying anything about mind control. And then you'll start talking and you bring up, you'll even say the word mind control. Well, I'm sitting here, but I'm not saying anything. So if y'all don't want me to take everything and say mind control, then don't bring up a conversation about mind control. Actually, I really don't believe everything is mind control anymore. Now, I don't believe it's mind in mind control anymore. Now, I believe a lot of shit is stimulated. You know, stimulated. Uh, I really don't want to get into it right now. But you, you know, you can go and look it up and see. But I really believe everything. Send the devil I told. So my T.I. family, I told them, I said, uh, uh, I ain't saying mind control no more. I said, that's the word they gave us. That's what they want us to know. I said, this shit ain't mind control. This shit is stimulated. Because when you simulate things, it's like, okay, I'm going to tell you this. When you simulate things, it's like you, like, make over it. You're making it like it's real. It's similar to it's real, you know, but it's simulated. And when... Things are assimilated like the Sims game. Synonymous. Yes. It has to be. And then that's how come I believe sometimes a lot of times we be losing time. Yes, I believe a, I believe yeah, I believe this stuff is assimilated. And then if you go and you look up this dude, his name is Bruce Artwick. Really, ask yourself, whose fucking name is Art and Wick? And his name Bruce. He's the simulator, the simulator. Because he's into the assimilation. Well, Dealing with this dude and what he does, yes, but this dude, what he does, he does the simulation, like the games, like the Sims game and stuff. This shit has been going on for a hundred years. And if they say, oh, you know, it's been going on for a hundred years, and yeah, 20. So they've been doing it for 20 years, maybe even more. But they've been doing it for 20 years before they even tell us that they're doing it. So mind control, no. Because if you look at mind control, think about it. Like one day, like I'm telling you, you know, like all these people in black coming around me. I mean, just all these people. And then all of a sudden, everybody in San Diego were black. But when you start seeing females and they babies got on all black, to me, it's like a Sims game. Like it's simulated. You know, maybe I can't really explain it right now. But to me, it's not real. To me, it's just simulated. Like I said, in the Sims game, to me, it's like, okay. Some people don't know that's, that's another, how V2K. That's another, that's another form of, uh, what did I just tell you? Another form of, uh,
Well, in the T.I. community, it's called Beat to Tay. Because mm-hmm. Amy, she gets Beat to Tay. I mean, Beat to Tay, Voice to Sub. You know, the first person they ever told me about Voice to Sub, but I didn't know what it was, was the Dunnage. When he told me he was in that room for two weeks, he said he was hearing voices, you know, and, and he said he might have his voices was in my head. And I was like, in your head, he said, yes, he might, it's like they were in my head. And he said they were telling him, and he said they were telling him, where your email? Where your email now? Why your email not coming to get you? This and that. And he said, this man used to come in the room. And the man told him that, you know, he can get him out of the room. You know, because his family wasn't coming or whatever, but we was barred away from him. And he was barred away from us. Do I see? Do I see? I felt it. Yes, it's like a book being written. Duh, for real, for real, that's it, that's it, and they can do that shit on the computer. But they have no ground. No, they don't. We don't know that. But they have a whole lot of ground they because when know. people tell other people, other people don't even believe that this shit is happening. I, I can't tell them believe that, I don't think everything is. I can't fight against everything. I mean, I'm right. fighting against well, yeah, see, that's why you have to, that's why you have to pick your own battles, like Occupy Wall Street. That's not a battle for me. For one thing, well, see, from reason that Occupy Wall Street ain't a problem for me, okay, because y'all want to go on Occupy Wall Street, not knowing really that you're the queen, her pay cut is cut, and this really do got a lot to do with Occupy Wall Street, but then my thing is about Occupy Wall Street is, okay, you want me, you want everybody to Occupy Wall Street, that's cool. But now you're going to get up here and now you're going to start telling us who to vote for? What? Wait, wait, wait. Aren't we occupying Wall Street? Well, now. So why now are we going to vote for still a uh, jackass or a stink-ass elephant? Yeah, so they're using them. But see, if you look at it, it's trickery. Even though he told you that. But if you look at them, they're doing a chant. And while they're doing a chant, they're playing with people's brain cells. Because, see, you ain't supposed to be voting for no damn body anyway. You know, I think it's in First Samuel 8 or something like that. But I know it's in First Samuel. You ain't supposed to be voting for nobody no way in the first place. But my thing is, why are you occupying Wall Street? Go listen to see what they're talking about as far as occupying Wall Street. And when you hear what they're talking about, then you get down to the end of the line, and they begin to tell you who to vote for. I'm like, so I can go through the whole damn thing all over again? And now everybody want to blame everything on, oh, check this out, they want to blame everything on Obama, right? Now everybody talk about how much money Obama spent. How much money Obama spent? Well, they should have did statistics. You put a so-called black man up in there, what do so-called black people do? Spend fucking money. I put that on somebody's comment, too. <laughs> so... They have who? Comedians? Well, they had a rapper in there. They had the bald head rapper in there. Didn't you see that? 
Yeah, the ball head rapper, his name is what? Thomas. And every time it's a Mike Control or Alistair Crowley, that jacket come up and it got Common behind it. And that song got a lot to do with Yahweh Be Yahweh. Because these 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 people, with Carmel, I say Carmel at the top, but she may not be at the top, but I'm going to put her at the top. When they was trying to plead for them to let Abba out, and then remember in his video how dude went on ahead and went to jail, prison, and that girl always had something to do with it, that was Carmel. That was Carmel. You understand what I'm saying? But Carmen seems to come up, and then I, I had was doing this other montage, and I came across this picture of these two guys, and they was bald headed. Then kind of find out that's Carmen, and I'm like, this is Carmen, really? I could not believe, you know, that that was actually Carmen. But I would see that jacket all the time, and that's the jacket I was supposed to put in the montage. But I didn't put that jacket in the montage. I put a, a, a book jacket. Instead of that jacket. Well, it could have been two jackets. It's another jacket that these designers made. And you'll see them I mean, everybody in it. Like the black hoodies. You'll see uh, Snoopy in it. And I know you'll see Eminem. And you'll see some other people, you know, in the black hoodie. You know what I'm saying? They all kind of wear the same stuff. That's why people emulate. Right now, she's. Yeah, my son is off.